tutorial, we're going to be making a Google Cardboard or Google VR app that runs on Android, and we're going to be using an old Google SDK, which is the Google Cardboard SDK, before it became Google VR. And the reason we're doing that is, if you use a Google VR SDK, it requires the Google VR services to be installed. And as you can see from the ratings, people don't love Google VR services. I, for one, don't really care for it. I don't have Daydream, so there's no reason at all to have this on my phone other than there's just no reason to unless, I, unless I'm using Daydream. And all I want is a simple application that will split the screen in half into a VR view. So in order to do that and to make a simple APK that just runs on its own, standalone, without any additional Google VR services or other apps to be installed on the phone, we're gonna be using an older version of the Google VR SDK version 0.6. So I'm on the Google VR SDK GitHub page here. You can see the current version is 1.7, but I don't care about that. I'm gonna to go to the 39 commits button. That's gonna open up this page and I can see all the commits, version 1.4, 1.3, 1 1.2. I'm gonna go all the way back to January 12th, 2016, to version 0 0.6. And I'm gonna click this button right here that says browse the repository at this point in history. And here I'm gonna be able to do a download zip. And this is the Google Cardboard SDK version 0 0.6 when it was still called Google Cardboard. And this version 0 0.6 is the earliest, is the latest version where the Google VR services is not required, none of that's required. This is just gonna be a standalone APK that works in VR mode. So I'm gonna use Unity 5.6.2, um, but the same thing will work for Unity 2017. And let me just make a new project here. We're gonna call it Cardboard 0 0.6. And let me create this project. The first thing we're gonna do is import the uh, Unity package that we had downloaded. So here's the zip file I downloaded. I'm gonna extract the folder out of the zip file. And inside of this folder, we're gonna have a Unity package. That Unity package, we're gonna import into the project. So let me just open up this folder and maybe I'll take a quick second just to rename this. GVR Unity SDK 0 0.6 and here's the cardboard SDK for Unity, Unity package. So I'm just gonna copy this path and go into Unity and say import package, paste the path here, and there is the cardboard SDK for Unity. So depending on uh, what you're developing for, maybe it's Android or iOS, you could deselect some of the plugins. For example, I don't need the iOS folder or the 32-bit folder, and I'm gonna import the rest of the stuff into the package. Now this APK is gonna need an upgrade, so I'm gonna say go ahead. Okay, now there are no demo scenes in this version. Uh, you can see if I put the scene filter in here, there's nothing, but that's okay. We just need the prefabs folder. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in the cardboard main prefab. Now cardboard main uh, is a setup that already has the camera in it. So I'm gonna delete main camera. So I got cardboard main, there's a head object, and then there's the main camera, the camera left and the camera right. And then there's the stereo render, the pre and the post render. So that's everything we have in the scene. And uh, I'm gonna add just a plane so we have a ground down here. And then let's get the cardboard main up to a Y position of two, so he's up above the ground. And if I hit play, you're gonna see that I have a nice view. I can rotate with holding Alt on the keyboard and I can tilt by holding Control. So I have a nice Google VR view. If I were to build this out to Android, I would have the split screen on my device. And this APK will not require any Google VR services or any of that. It's just a standalone APK that does the split screen all on its own. Now the cool thing about this 0.6 cardboard version is you have full control over everything. You can move the cameras around if you want them. You could set uh, the choline mask if you want to so that different eyes render different content and one of the really nice things that we can do is if we're in play mode, and this has been, uh, has caused a lot of crashes 
in the native VR. But one thing that we can do here, if we go to the cardboard main, is we can toggle this Boolean called VR Mode Enabled and toggle this on and off. Now, I'm going to write a really quick script that uh, toggles this mode on and off. And uh, to do that, we're just going to add a button into the scene. And so we're going to see how to do input with this setup. Now, what I'm going to do is go to the prefabs folder and then expand to the UI. Now, in the UI, there is this cardboard dot prefab. And I'm going to make that as a child of the camera. Make sure it's at 000. And when I hit play, I can see that I now have a dot on the screen. So now that I have a dot on the screen, I'm also going to need a event system. So I'm going to go to create UI event system. Now the event system is going to need the gaze input module. So I'm going to add that script and I'm going to move that up above the standalone input module. And then there's an option for VR mode only, but we want the gaze input module to work at all times. So now I'm going to create a cube and the cube is just going to get a, uh, box collider on it already has that so we're going to add an event trigger and so now let's go ahead and press play and now before i'm going to be able to interact with this cube i'm going to have to add a physics raycaster to the camera so i'm going to go to the main camera and add a physics raycaster the event mask is set to everything but i could change that to different layers and now you can see when i put my cursor over the object the dot responds to it and I can interact with this object. So what I'm going to do is on the cube, I'm going to add a new script and I'm going to call it uh, toggle VR mode. So the script toggle VR mode, uh, when you click on this, it's just going to go to VR mode and come back from VR mode. So I'm going to make a new uh, public void called uh, toggle VR mode. And we'll say... I can't name my class the same thing, so uh, I'm just going to call the function toggle VR. And so now we're going to just do something really simple. We're going to say that the, uh, we're going to say cardboard.sdk, okay? This gets us to the main cardboard SDK. And from here, we could say there's a lot of different uh, variables here. And you could see basically all the same variables that are here. Um, but the one that we want is VR mode enabled and we're going to say that is equal to the opposite of Whatever the status of the cardboard SDK VR enabled is so if it's true, it's going to be false and if it's false, it's going to be true All right, so we have a, uh, a Script to toggle that VR mode now back to our cube. We're just going to add a new event type which is pointer down so when the pointer goes down we're going to uh, call a function on this script and it's going to be called toggle VR. All right, so now if I hit play and we put the cursor over the box and then we click on it, we can see that it toggles between VR mode and not VR mode. Now, this is not going to cause the app to crash because it's just doing some simple stuff with the game objects here. It's using this camera instead of these two. And again, this is uh, because we're using Cardboard SDK version 0.6, we have a pretty simple setup. And the other nice thing here is, let's say you want to make some modifications to the actual main script, Cardboard. So that's this script right here. And this is the main script for the Cardboard SDK. This is the class, is the main Cardboard SDK object. And so in here, it's actually pretty simple still to get in and make some changes. For example, if I wanted to change the way that VR mode toggled on and off, I could come in here to the um, uh, private bool VR mode enabled. And here is where it's setting the VR mode enabled. So I could add more code here if I wanted to. Um, but this VR toggle is one that works and it doesn't cause a crash. And uh, the other nice thing about using this older SDK is we are independent of the Google VR services that are required for any SDK after this, because after this, it became the Google VR SDK instead of Google Cardboard, and everything after that started changing. So one place I went to uh, for help here was the Cardboard, um, the developers at Google.com, the release notes, and then I scrolled way down the list, well, halfway down the list here, um, 
back before version 0 0.7 and you get all the way here to cardboard SDK 0 0.6 and here's some useful information about that release specifically and uh, but here we have the basic setup as as well as the input now when it comes to building we're going to go to build settings and I'm going to set the uh, platform to Android and then I'm going to go to player settings now in the player settings we're going to go to resolution and presentation and we're going to set this to landscape left we have to force landscape left um, or we could build it in portrait or whatever and that will work and that's another advantage to building with this older cardboard SDK you can pick the orientation that you want the device to be in um, so I've seen on the forums and whatnot, you, people uh, from Unity asking, can I put my, uh, can I start my VR app in portrait and then transfer it over into landscape? And you can't if you're doing the native VR. But with this older 0 0.6 version, you actually have control over the orientation of the phone. So you probably don't need a 32-bit display buffer and you can probably disable the depth and stencil buffer. That's going to give you a little bit better performance um, but I do have to set landscape left, otherwise it will auto-rotate as you spin the phone around. And then here, uh, multi-threaded rendering is a good idea. Uh, you, I haven't seen huge uh, performance boost from dynamic batching, but that depends on your game and how many dynamic objects you have in your scene. Uh, so we could disable dynamic batching. Static is probably a pretty good idea and we do not want to have virtual reality supported this is the native way to enable cardboard we don't want to do that we're using an old cardboard sdk so this virtual reality supported option is disabled now we're going to have to add a custom package name and i suggest an api level maybe up to 19. Um, you might even want to get into android 5 but 4.4 level 19 is probably a good api level to go with and then uh, another thing that we can set here is the um, device filter. We only need to go to ARM processors. There's practically no x86 processors in smartphones. So ARM is just fine for the device filter and that's going to make a smaller APK file. We don't need Android TV compatibility. Maybe it's a game, maybe it's a not, but those are the basic um, build settings that we're going to have as we build this cardboard SDK version 0 0.6 app. So everything else is the same as far as uh, building the app goes. Um, this is just going to be the camera setup and the build settings to make a cardboard SDK that does not require the Google VR services that you're able to easily toggle VR mode enabled on and off and you also have control over the device orientation. So this is a pretty nice solution for making mobile VR games if you don't want to target the Gear VR or the Daydream device. So I hope this tutorial helps you out. I know I am currently building a project with this SDK version because it's been a lot nicer to work with than some of the newer, more complicated and buggy releases. So thank you for watching. If this helps, give it a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.